in this tutorial I will be showing you through a wall and I'll just copy that I'll paste it in Google and write stock beside it you can see the full name of it and um, you can see the uh, if I want to buy stock right now it's 164.49 US dollar per stock and the market cap is in billions it's 4.8 billions and uh, which is a big firm the dividend yield is none which means that um, this stock doesn't pay any dividend uh, dividend is um, like when the company pays its creditors liabilities its costs and everything still it has extra money left that extra money is paid out as dividend to shareholder so if somebody is able to pay the dividend that means they're very strong financially which is a positive sign but this company don't pay any dividend this does not mean it's a negative sign because there are many firms who are financially very strong but they don't pay any dividends it's just a choice of the firm but this is one of the factor to look at you can see it's in, it's founded in 1919 but if it's not um, written here you can go to Wikipedia and have a look and um, I just want to copy this whole part and uh, I want to see the reviews in LinkedIn in indeed sorry and let's see what the employees have to say it's 81 reviews and they got 3.5 stars which is above average it's very good and let's see what it uh, what the employees think of it in Glassdoor and which is again very good website and it has 55 reviews and it's 3.2 star which is above average let's look uh, at the patents it has um, let's go to Justia patents and I'll just paste it in uh, the search bar and there's no patent I can see I can't see any patents I will just for example play with it maybe I get one is that the one so dynamic corporation I need to make sure that the name matches so um, no I can't see any patents actually so it doesn't have any patents and uh, because if companies have patents that means that it's a competitive edge they are strong they have um, modes but this firm don't have any patent let's go to Yahoo Finance and see what the key executives salaries are and I'll just click on it and I'll go to profile and I'll just show you the sector is industrials the industry is tools and accessories and full-time employees I can see there are five executives but four employees uh, four salaries have been shown one salary is missing you need to find out why it's missing maybe in another website it's shown so that's important because the more information we have the better the more transparency and um, what else we want to have a look um, now let's let, let's go to um, let's go to macro trend which is brilliant website for ratios and I want to go to price ratio at price book ratio and I will just paste in the symbol um, it's ROLL and make sure that matches the name and the price book ratio if the price book ratio is less than one that means stock is very cheap and at discount it's ideal to buy that time if it's one that means that the stock is not expensive but it's the real worth if it's more than one that means the stock is very expensive and uh, the higher the price the number goes the uh, like the higher the number goes more than one the expensive the stock gets uh, the more expensive it gets let's have a look Okay, so right now it's 4.18, which means the if somebody buys it right now, they'll be paying four times more money. Uh, in 2009, it's 1.25 times more expensive. So somebody that bought that time, uh, they paid $14 or nearly $15 to be to buy something that was $12. So they so it's a little bit they paid a little bit more price. So um, it was the cheapest at that time in 2009 because right now it's four times more expensive and um, so let's look at other ratios 
uh, we look at current ratio if it's less than one that means it's very dangerous if it's one it's if it's 1.5 or more than that it's very safe so it's a lot more than 1.5 it's very very safe and let's look at the consistency uh, so we want to know that if it has ever been below 1.5 no it since 2005 up till now it has always been about 1.5 let's go to debt equity ratio debt equity ratio uh, should be 0.5 or less than that so right now it's less than 0.5 and it has always been less than uh less than no so in 2006 it has been more than 0.5 and then afterwards it has always been less than no then in 2015 it has been more than 0.5 for a while uh, for a few uh, like 2015 whole of 2015 has been 15 and 16 a little bit 16 so nearly one year here and then a few months like yeah so nearly one year in between it has been more than 1.5 which is dangerous but uh, after that it has been less than 0.5 so maybe one year is not bad because we have data since many years since 10 years over 10 years it has been less than 0.5 so one year in between is not that bad so it's up to you to decide actually but let's look at return on equity return on equity you are aiming for eight percent or more than that for it to be really good so let's look at that uh right now it's more than eight percent let's look at the previous ones so has it ever been below 8%? Yes, in 2009 to December. And that's just once. So once I, I will forgive. And since the data we have 2005 up till now, 14 years, it has always been above 8%. And which is brilliant. 